Hey, Laura, welcome. So mom and I are on these uh, videos a little bit and today we are blessed because you are in the room. So hashtag blessed, thank you. <laughs> hashtag girl dad. Uh, question for you. Um, you and I, I, we've been to some personal growth stuff together. Tony Robbins, uh, some NLP. best year ever stuff, NLP. And when mom and I are talking to other parents, there's often this conversation of like, when, well, when did you take your kids to this? And like every child's kind of different from maturity level and everything else. Uh, but I'm going to go to something in November and we're taking uh, your next youngest sister, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to take Annika to something. Yes. And I guess that, so the question, I'm going to put it out there like from other parents is like, Hey, Laura, how do I know whether I should take my child to this personal growth thing or not? Like how, how do you know if they're ready? Um, okay. You never know if someone's ready, but it's much better to do something when you're younger than when you're older. In my experience, when I was at UPW, Unleash the Power Within the Tony Robbins event, there are, I don't know how big the events are, like tens of thousands of people. That one was probably 20,000. Yeah. Pretty And of course, they're all going to be adults there. And if you are under 18, you are definitely in the minority of people there. And if you pay close attention, um, at least when I went, every adult without fail would tell me, oh, you're so lucky to be here. You're so lucky that you're young and you get to be here. Yeah. And they were 100% correct. How old were you when you went? The first time I went, I was 12. And the second time I went, I was 14. It was Chicago and then it was Miami. And to that, all I would say is at any point in your life, you can change your programming by doing these events and taking actionable steps on them but it's much easier to start with empowered programming when you're young. So I know you now, Leah, actually tell everybody. 16 now. Okay, 16 so you went now. when you were 12, and was that your first event? Your first personal growth event? No, I think my first personal growth event was, it was called One Life Fully Lived, and it was in Philly, and I think it was like 10. Yeah, it's so what are the kinds of things that we did when you were 10 that looking back, you're like, wow, that, that had an impact on me. Mm, yeah. I think firstly, it was giving me access to things like books. Like I read Think and Grow Rich for the first time when I was like 11, not because either of you told me to read it and you never pushed anything on me. And I think, I mean, everyone has their own path, but for me, it would not have worked if you guys pushed it on me. I think that actually would have caused resentment. I can agree to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I had all the resources available. And once I brought out the desire to do it, I almost made it my niche because it was at the time, like I wasn't super great at anything else, but for some reason it felt really good to make personal growth and living my best life, my kind of niche. Yeah. And what was the impact of having other adults at those events, probably saying some of the same things that you've heard dad and I say, but you've heard them from other people. Mm -hmm. Are you able to look at that objectively? And Say that one more time. So like when we went to, let's say, When Life Fully Lived, mm -hmm. there were probably things there that you heard from other adults that dad and I had probably been saying to you. I think it validated what you were saying because it was unbiased. And I also think they were were able to fact check it a lot better than <laughs> you guys were. Yeah. They yeah. had sources you guys did not. Uh, but I never felt like you guys pushed anything on me. And I think had you done it, the desire to learn would have gone away. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy you guys did that. So, okay, last question I have. Um, so in November, on my birthday or near near to that, Annika and I will go down to Florida, Tony Robbins. But there's actually a lot of people that we know that are going, mm -hmm. right? So, and you know a lot of these families. Uh, so maybe like some very specific advice to the parents, uh, um, probably dads and moms, that are taking uh, their children, I'm gonna guess, maybe around Annika's age, maybe around 12, but I actually don't know, older mm -hmm. or younger. Um, what advice would you give to us parents to make, um, to give our children the most space possible just to help them have the best experience? And I know it's not one size fits all, but if you are if you had a few pointers, uh, we'd love to hear them. Yeah, so for starters, I'm just gonna share what worked for me and for my path. And as it's not a one size fits all, what works for you guys is gonna work for you. And what worked for me is gonna work for me. And what did work for me was that when we went at least, um, we went in at the same time 
and we were together for a little bit and then we at some point we just separated we were with your group i was with my group and what made that really powerful is i say this a lot but when you're at a personal growth event um specifically upw because it's just so powerful you are constantly trying to figure out who you've been who you want to be who you are now and you're going through all these weird phases mentally so if you're sitting next to someone and doing exercise, like I, we never partnered up yeah. and cause I hate partnering with people I know. And the reason why that is, is because when you're trying to forge a new identity and create who you want to become, and you're sitting next to someone who's consciously or unconsciously holding you to who you've been, it makes it so difficult to forge who you want to be. I think we make change seem like it has to be really dramatic but it really doesn't. So no one's intentionally like in a negative way, holding you to a former self. It's just how it happens. So if you give each other space, there's a lot more ability to grow. I think people might think that we in a sea of 20,000 people like separate out a thousand people apart. And, and we, I think we're always next to each other, but we specifically partnered, we paired up, you know, you, there's you might a lot of exercises. There's a lot of interaction. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, Mom and I just recorded a video um, from Courage to Grow about like the hero's journey. And I think what you just said, you know, just to like reiterate it here, it's so hard as a parent to be in that environment and not want to like help your child have the best experience or, or, oh no, you don't have to do that exercise or here, I'll do it with you. I'll help. Like um, the idea of just letting you do trusting it by yourself it and trusting the room to be to create the resource that you need. Yeah. Were, Wait, I want to say something on that for a second. Okay, kids are a lot smarter than we make it seem. Like if anyone can do these exercises, yeah. it's kids. Like it really is. And they really, I think they we need a lot less direction than you, or at least, you know, we need a lot <laughs> less direction. Uh, and I think we tend to get it off the bat. And yeah. at least for me, if I have questions, I'll go to someone else. Maybe I'll go to you but I don't need you to answer questions well, because I ask them. I think what you're pointing out is the fact that adults come in with a lot of baggage that mm -hmm. kids don't have. And so what's taking us time to process is actually just getting rid of all of those years and layers of baggage. You guys don't have it. We could, we could talk for days, right? Cause landmark is probably the exact same experience. Yeah. Right? You don't, you don't go into a baggage that we went into. So which you landmark did. is another thing you did. That yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole nother video. Another time. So awesome. Any final words, Laura? No, that's it. Just give space um, and respect that everyone is on a different path and that your path is not your child's path. And of course it comes from a place of love. You're there to love and support. And you're a pretty epic parent if you're taking them to anything like this, because you are definitely in the minority of that. So, Way to be epic. <laughs>